Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Aries friends and friends of Aries. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So Aries, if you're new here, I do go over channeled messages through meditation. We look at some oracle cards and then move into the tarot. If you guys are returning, it's good to see you again. Uh, I know it's been a minute, Aries. I have missed you. I did do a collective reading for the new moon in Leo. Um, it is for the new moon in Leo, but also timeless. I recommend you guys go take a look. I did a pick a pile there. So it's been a while since I've done a pick a pile and it was um, great messages. They were great messages that came through and I had a lot of fun doing it. So my lovely Aries, hello, hello. Um, looking at your energy in meditation. So first of all, I did have um, a set of symbols actually come through. And this is the first time that this has ever come through in this way, where it's been like words, I guess. There are sort of glyphs, hieroglyphs at this point. Um, so I'm going to show this to you here, the camera. I recommend that you pause it because they are a little bit more complex or detailed um, to write this out. So this was titled Flow Forever, and I'll describe this here. I'm going to show this, show this to the camera. Like I said, feel free to pause it. And I am being told to uh, make sure the difference here. So the top symbol, that top circle is half filled and half open. The bottom one is filled in. In the middle there, the middle one's filled in, the two on the side are open, and then um, two filled in and one that are open. I'm just being told to be cautious about that distinction, okay? So, to flow forever, what I was told this is for is opening the hole, okay? I was told this is to open the hole. And I was shown, I was shown these symbols in order, but, um, spirit had me line them up like this. So like I said, it's like a, a, a sentence or these symbols together all produce the effect that we're looking for. So the instructions with this are to make them your own or to take ownership. And, um, I felt that was a little confusing at first because the symbols are what they are. They are energetically activated for your use, okay? But um, the ownership portion, as I meditated on that, is coming from intent. So it's not, it's not that you're shifting or adjusting the symbols themselves, if you want to use this. It is um, that you are taking ownership of whatever will be coming forward thanks to this dilation, I guess, of this whole allowing something to flow through. So the visual that I get on it is almost like a, like a pore, okay, in, in the skin. Let's say that there's dirt or oil that's gotten trapped inside of a normal size pore, and for whatever reason that pore is um, shrunk or gotten closed, so that organic matter inside has gotten to the point where there's bacteria, it's, it's starting to cause maybe an infection, maybe you, you have some acne, right? So what I'm being shown is this pore being opened up so all that gunk is able to come out, okay? Um, being prepared for this though is important. So you're being asked to write these symbols or put them somewhere where you can see them. And this is where it's, I guess it's kind of your choice. Wherever you want these symbols to be, if it's the first thing that you see when you wake up, if it's in your meditation area, just as a reminder to allow that flow to happen, but to be prepared as well for the loosening of restriction or resistance that is provided with this, okay? Happy, happy to have these come through, honestly, and I'm, I'm excited to use them myself. So, Aries, Aries. Um, the next thing that I was told was to be mindful and listen, okay? So again, I feel like once this opens up, this is, um, this is an opportunity for you to really pay attention to what is being shown. The next thing I was shown, it was this weird shape. It's kind of difficult to describe, but what it reminded me of was like a, a conch shell unraveling. So very Fibonacci sequence, like fractal type energy being unraveled. And I feel like a part of what you're going through right now is this process of unraveling. These symbols are helping to loosen some resistance or restriction, like I said. And so it's unraveling like your reality, essentially, or realities these fractals coming into um, an easier to digest form of information allows you to see things a little bit more for what they are, maybe to accept things 
that uh, maybe you don't understand or can't change, just making the process easier, okay? So, moving into your Oracle cards, 515 there on the timer. Archetype deck is what Spirit wanted to work with to start here. So you've got the Shapeshifter and the Mentor. And right away I find this interesting because uh, the Mentor here is number 6 and the Shapeshifter is number 15, which is Lovers, number 6, and the Tarot, and 15 being the Devil. The Devil and the Lovers have a connection They um, throughout the Tarot. They, it's the same two figures that are in the Lovers as they are in the Devil. Um, the same human that's going through that process. So right away, I just thought that was interesting. It's like, you can either experience this love and free energy, whatever that looks like to you, whatever you want that to look like to you with the lovers, or there can be restriction, those chains that we place upon ourselves with the devil card. And I feel like there are these two energies inside of you, inside, that are competing for the spotlight right now. So the mentor is about um, flow as a teacher. The teacher, the mentor, the sage guru here knows that the student needs a uh, like a dedicated or maybe restricted stream of knowledge information to allow them to be able to learn what it is they need to most effectively and efficiently. The teacher also knows that when they slip into um, maybe taking taking credit or praise as the individual who's giving the message rather than spirit, source, creator, giving that message, it's kind of slipping into the shadow realm. So I feel like there's a caution towards that. Maybe you are in a situation where you are teaching or learning, but this is a reminder to yourself as well to stay humble, okay? To stay humble as you are receiving information and if it's a part of your job here, you want it to be, where you're distributing that information as well, to just remember that um, you are still human, okay? Uh, with the shapeshifter coming through, I feel like that's playing on that as well. This is like trickster energy, mischief, mischief. Um, I feel like this is a portion of yourself, your shadow, the devil, the devil, <laughs> that is trying to, to get you to feel like... Um, Maybe it's okay to be more in the ego. Like I was saying with the mentor, uh, maybe there's this portion of yourself that is, uh, well, as an example, being a, a reader here on YouTube, maybe a reader on YouTube or a reader in general. If you start slipping into a place where you're getting a big head because, you know, either there's high visibility or you're receiving praise for how you're helping people and there's nothing wrong with that. It's the way that you're receiving it, okay? And especially with this flow symbol coming through, what I'm feeling is that you may be more open to receiving something inflating that ego rather than also letting the shit out <laughs> as it needs to be let out, okay? And that's causing like a festering type situation. So to just be careful, all right? All that glitters isn't gold is kind of what's coming through to me on that. Open yourself up to, to the flow, which is totally the new moon in Leo here too, as I'm filming that today. Okay, so I'm going to pull an Animal Spirit Oracle card, and then I do have a Mudra deck that I introduced in the Leo reading. I'm going to start doing that here in the signs for a little bit too, a little change of pace. So what do we have here, please, Spirit for Aries? This is the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. What do we have for Aries, please? The, the bee and the beaver and the buffalo here at the bottom. So um, I, I am getting this energy of like persistent, slow and steady towards something, keeping your eye to the horizon, knowing that no matter what obstacles you may be facing at this time, that you can make, make it through those obstacles, okay? Um, so beaver and bee here. Beaver is about building something can be like slow and steady. Um, it's a very dedicated to family kind of energy. Rarely are they somebody who maybe starts a project, but they're definitely there to finish it, okay? And the beaver actually came out in the New Moon and Leo reading as well. If it resonates, I recommend you watch it, okay? Um, so I do feel there, again, there's that message of like persistence and uh, consistency towards building something that has longevity or is um, 
of quality, okay? The B coming through here, I get a sense of community. Uh, building something with the, your community or building a community for yourself. If you're having a hard time finding where your community is, have you thought about building one? We have all the technology at our disposal right now to be able to create groups on social media. Um, you know, there are many websites where we can meet people that have similar interests. It's, uh, it may not always be the easiest thing to do, but it's possible, okay? Don't give up if that's the case. And I'm, I'm getting with the beaver there too. Maybe this is a situation where you are being asked to build a structure of some sort. Maybe not necessarily a physical structure, maybe, but a structure of community, okay? Being a busy little bee, getting ready to, to get going on something, okay? I feel like once this flow opens up, um, not that you'll be overwhelmed, but there's going to be things to take care of. It's going to be clear on what needs to be taken care of at that point. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So we'll move into mudra messages. What mudra do we have here for Aries at this time? And mudras are um, hand symbols or gestures. There are many different cultures that have mudras. Um, this is probably one of the most well-known, right? Um, but there are many. So this has ones from all different cultures. What do we have here for Aries, please, Spirit? Aries, Aries. Ooh. Which one? Bottom. OK, interesting. So um, patience is what you guys got here. I can wait. So I'm going to show this to you here and read read the back. Patience Mudra. Um, this this Mudra and actually, <laughs> I, go go watch the New Moon in Leo reading. Uh, there was a symbol that I channeled on camera actually, and it was to bring in more patience. So that's funny. <laughs> this is for you. All right. This Mudra fortifies the liver, regulates the body temperature, and helps to balance out strong emotions and inner conflicts. Wrap the first four fingers of one hand around the ring finger of the other whilst pressing the thumb onto the middle of the palm. Everything which grows regenerates during a healing process, for instance, develops and unfolds, needs a certain time. Instead of impatiently frittering our energies away, we can use the times of waiting for better things. Think of a tall, majestic tree in the prime of life and ask it to share its patience, steadfastness, perseverance, strength, and inner composure with you. You inhale its energies with long, deep breaths. My patience and inner calm increase from moment to moment. Yes, oh, I love that. So um, taking the middle finger, pressing to the palm here. If I can kind of see that, my picture might be easier. So we're just gonna hold like this in meditation. Okay, love it. All right, thank you, Spirit. Let's go ahead and get into your tarot messages. So to start, we've got uh, the Fortuna deck. I'm gonna start with here. If we're first deck, what do we have for Aries, please, Spirit? From my heirs friends and huge shout out to my channel members hello you guys thank you for your love and support as always if you are interested in becoming a channel member yourself i do have a link in the description of this video there's also a join button right next to the subscribe button under the video and hit subscribe if you haven't already i do have personal readings open and available there's a link in the description of the video as well to my website feel free to check that out i would love to help you on a more personal level if that's what you're looking for okay so your hopes and hopes and dreams here. You have Princess of Talismans. This is um, Page of Pentacles. So there's a hope here, desire to be to be clever, maybe to learn something new. Maybe you are in a place here where you're feeling that need to expand whatever this hole is. You're ready to increase your bandwidth. So there's more information that's able to come to you and to be able to be put out as well. But you're hoping to take something that's currently existing, how you are, how you're functioning, and improving on that, making that a better situation for you and everyone else that uh, maybe you are involved with in life or love. Okay. Love it. Yay. All right. So your second deck here, we're going to use the Murder of Crows Tarot. I haven't brought this out for a second, so I was surprised Spirit wanted to work with it. But here we are. So what do we have for Aries, please, Spirit, at this time? 
And this is a general message, everybody, so please keep that in mind. You are intelligent, so please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. If you're feeling that you're forcing the story to fit, please don't do that. Just leave it behind. If it's not for you, that's okay. And check out any other major placements in your chart. Rising Moon Venus, North Node. We are more than our sun sign, and there's a lot to learn. Okay. I encourage you to look. So Knight of Cups here. This is your fear version. There may be, there may be a concern over love right now. Um, either... And that kind of came through in the Leo reading too. <laughs> there may be um, a situation in your life where somebody has mistreated you in a romantic sense. Um, just looking to get a hole filled, so to speak. All right. Uh, kind of a playboy or playgirl, play, play non-binary human card. Someone who's just looking to scratch an itch. Um, being, being in the fear of, I feel like it's more of an aversion or anxiety like some of you are looking, possibly looking for love and it doesn't have to just be romantic, but there is that fear because of something that has hurt you in the past. Like all men or women are just this way or that way because of, you know, something you've experienced. Um, if that's the case, opening up this hole here with those symbols, guaranteed that stuff that's going to start coming out and it's going to be your job to start sifting through that and navigating and reprogramming that story okay yes all right so let's move forward so general general energy to start here you guys have five of elixirs five of cups so this is a card of disappointment of um regret um neglect is something that's coming through here too so this could be referring to you neglecting your own, um, this is the gunk that's building up here, <laughs> neglecting your own rejection, your own disappointment. Something has happened in your life, maybe a great many some things has happened in your life that's caused this disappointment. And that feeling that I'm getting is something that's compounded, that's, that's really reinstated the story to yourself. I'm always treated this way. People are always this way. Um, there's just no love for me or there's just not this or there's not that. Those are all um, stories, just like anything else. Okay. Um, I am always treated well. I am, uh, a, there's an abundance of love in my life. There's abundance of money in my life. Those are also stories, but we get to choose which book are we pulling off the shelf to read, right? Because depending on what we're reading is what we're also projecting and bringing into our life. So this is a reminder, if this is you, to, um, to shift your focus. Definitely need to validate where there is disappointment. Don't let that fester. But there's effort that needs to go into shifting your mindset to something a bit more positive, okay? Yeah. <laughs> um, devil comes through here next. The devil which we had 15 as well with the shapeshifter. I love that. Um, so the two figures that are on here, those are the same ones that are on the lovers, like I said. This is anything that keeps us chained to this physical realm, an abuse of power. And I feel like in this situation, there may have been somewhere where there was an abuse of power towards you. These things do happen in our life. N none of us get through our life without experiencing shitty things too. Um... It is our choice, though, to either get stuck in that, to remain stuck in those chains, or to work to release ourselves from those chains. So with the five of elixirs and devil coming through, that's, that's exactly what that's saying to me. There's work that needs to be done in, first of all, recognizing the role that you may be playing into putting the chains on yourself or keeping the chains on yourself. People-pleasing is something that comes through, actually. With the mentor and the shapeshifter there, um, that energy can sh can shift into the more of a people pleasing energy rather than um, like a free state of of learning and giving. Okay, if you're finding that that is you in some way, this message is for you. Okay, pay attention to that energy. So good stuff for you guys at this time, King of Elixirs. 
I felt like King of Cups was going to come through here somewhere. This is King of Cups. Because of patience, I can wait. Um, this is the notion of devotion to master the motion of your motion notion, of course. Being in your good stuff here, I feel like this is where you guys are being heavily supported. To find this calm, centered state in the middle of all this chaos, this tumultuous ocean that we call life, okay? It is um, getting to a point of fairness, of kindness, of compassion towards yourself and towards others. Evening out that flow. Balancing, this kind of looks like a, a scale system to me here. Balancing, um, balancing this specific kind of scale with your heart and the way that that connects with others. To rise like the sun, okay. Cool. Awesome. All right. So clarif <laughs> clarifying the king of elixirs here, you guys have temperance or Nicole Kidman. <laughs> so temperance here, this is about going with the flow. It's alchemy. It's taking one thing and turning it into something else. So back to your uh, page, princess of talismans here, page of pentacles. You are hoping to change something, to take something that's existing and make it into something else. Alchemy. This is also being supported at this time. So is the process of investigating your emotional realm with a grounded approach, okay? Which is going to come from that balancing your emotions as well. Uh, the king of elixirs, excuse me, can't, a king of cups. Getting out and grounding, okay? That's something I've been doing more frequently now, and it really does have a positive effect. If you can't put your feet in the dirt or in the grass, touching a tree, okay, is the same sort of electron transfer. Grounding is something that would be very helpful for you guys right now as you're going through this process. Okay, so what you don't see coming, what's in the dark here, you guys have the chariot. So very um, cancer energy, Ch chariot is cancer. I kind of feel like, because um, this can symbolize uh, movement, whether physically, energetically, having that those symbols come through in meditation, I feel like this is facilitating this kind of movement. It's positive forward movement, but it doesn't come without its trials. This is the magician in action. So whatever it is that you are working to manifest, this is that happening, okay? It's, it's finding the energy to initiate the magic of the magician into action form, the chariot. Being Cancer too, I am kind of getting this feeling of home. So some of you, some of you may be needing to or looking to move homes, okay? If it's not an expected thing, I am getting uh, a feeling of patience, all right? There is a need to approach this one step at a time but you do have the ability to build whatever it is that you need to. Don't let the shape shifter fool you, okay? You do have forces that are supporting you and you are more than capable of supporting yourself as well. So yes, let's see what else we have here. Five of Pentacles. <laughs> so uh, Five of Pentacles, this is, um, with this card especially, I do get like a feeling of martyrdom, which can be, a shadow side of cancer as well with the chariot coming through here. I just feel that there's a caution towards allowing yourself to slip into a state of martyrdom, which is going to be that shapeshifter energy too. The devil, the devil is going to be speaking, working to make you feel that way. Okay. But martyrdom is a story. It is an act of self-violence. It's betrayal towards the self. So five of pentacles here, what you don't see in this situation is that you have, you have the key to the vehicle to move from this energy where you don't want to be of lack of darkness. Um, so I feel something well, and I feel these symbols will be helpful to, to, to that as well, opening up this channel so that you can see the resources you do have available to you at this time, your ability that you do have to work through difficult things. You can do difficult things. Okay, Aries? 
All right, so uh, speaking of difficult things, your challenge at this time. <laughs> oh, damn, God. Uh, five of discs here. Five of pentacles again. So having this in what you don't see coming and also in your challenge, this I feel like this is something that as the changes are being made, the flow is being increased here, you're going to have a tendency to, um, again, that martyr energy, get stuck in this place of feeling very Eeyore. Don't worry about me, guys. I'm just, just have a shitty life, you know. Um, that's not helping anybody, especially not you. It's definitely not helping you if that's you in this situation. We do get ourselves into places of five of pentacles from time to time where we feel lack, where we feel out of the warmth of love or whatever connection, community, whatever it is that we're wanting to be a part of or needing to be a part of. The slippery slope there is when we feel those feelings, having that also trigger thoughts where we then start to um, validate those feelings without trying to shift the course of where we're heading and then we get stuck in a circle. Yep, I feel this way. Yep, I'm thinking that way too. Yep, yep. And what is that? That's manifestation. When your thoughts and your emotions are on the same page <laughs> and there's energy, emotion behind it, that's how we manifest. So uh, this is going to be especially difficult for you guys right now. I think finding comfort to work through what's difficult, getting yourself back into a place of where you feel warmth. It's within your power though. That's the hard part. And then five of swords too. Yeah, goodness. Five, five, five though. Uh, major life change. I do feel like there's a big, there's a big opportunity here to change something major. Increasing this flow is not is not to be taken lightly. Okay. It can it can help raise your ship, but if you're not um, approaching it intelligently, it could also cause a feeling of drowning. All right. I would recommend also with those symbols, make it your own. Ah, okay. So when you are drawing these out for yourself and activating it for personal use, I would request that you, um, you bring in your spirit team. Okay. Guides, angels. If you're not in the habit of speaking with them, get in the habit of that. God, creator, source, whatever your flavor is. Request that this flow be opened, but also only to the point where you are capable of handling it, okay? If you're noticing that the flow is, is too big, ask for that flow to be restricted just a little bit. This is where you get to make it your own, okay? The pressure that you're able to handle right now. The Five of Swords here, this is fighting for the sake of fighting. It's conflict for the sake of conflict. Um, you guys may be finding it difficult here in letting something go like i don't know uh, a spat <laughs> between friends or um a family member or something you know i'm not saying every situation is something you need to just get over um this is more the mentality or energy that you are circulating through your own system How, do you have a chip on your shoulder about something if you do why if you do, is that chip a part of, you know, that jaded energy? Is that a part of what you're also seeing projected into your reality? Probably. The point of saying that is to start paying attention to what we're saying and feeling and how that's present in our lives. Okay. Um, it really does have a major, major effect. All right. Anything else here? Okay. Okay. I love you, Aries. I'm going to close this off here. I'm going to move into the extended portion. If you want to join me there, I have links in the description. They are for sale individually and also through membership if you want to check that out. Personal readings are open. Like I said, I'd love to help you guys out. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. If this reading resonated with you, I truly appreciate the support in that way. And to those of you who feel called to tip or donate, I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description too. I truly appreciate that. It is not mandatory, but I very much appreciate the support. It does go a long way. Okay, Aries, I love you guys. Again, check out that Leo reading. I'll try to post it here at the end, but um, take care of yourself. We'll see you soon, okay? Be well.